Alright, so after that, uh, those four notes uh, of those intervals, um, again, this is all out of, it's over a D flat major 7 chord, and it's all out of a D major scale. So it's it's a cool way to break up just a typical major scale. And then when he goes down, he goes down to the um, the D string and he plays the 11, 10, 11 with this uh, first finger or the second finger, first finger, second. Uh, and that's basically the root to the major seven back to the root. So. Then he plays the uh, 10th fret to the 13th fret on the G string. Then he plays the uh, 11th fret on the B string. So, And again, all out of the major scale. Then it goes to from the major seven chord uh, to a D flat minor seven chord, and here's where he switches to uh, to basically uh, the D minor pentatonic. Yes, Alan Holdsworth does play simple scales like the rest of us, <laughs> which is funny to think of because you think all the stuff he plays is just this crazy stuff, but when you start dissecting it, you see that it's us mere mortals know some of this stuff. Um, so anyway, so after this, he goes to the ninth fret, to the 12, uh, the ninth to the 14 to the 12, and pulls back off to the ninth on the E string. Then he goes, he bars down that pentatonic scale. He skips this 12th fret and just goes. So it's 9 on the E string, 9 on the B string, and 11, uh, yeah, 11 on the G string. So. And what I do is I pick the 14th fret, pick the 12th fret, and pull off to the 9th fret. And then I sweep down uh, the 9th fret on the B string to the 11th fret on the G string. But uh, you don't let it ring. It's a cool chord. Then he goes down a chromatic scale. Um, just basically walks down right four notes in a row from that 11th fret uh, 10 9 8 on the G string so and then he goes to the uh, 11th fret on the D string uh, that was a chromatic scale on the G string and then uh, 11th fret on the D string to the 9th fret on the uh, a string, uh, and I use my pinky and my second finger, so. Now, that whole thing is very, uh, um, 16th note-ish, kind of. And a good way to practice that kind of lick, if you're not familiar with uh, those fingerings or that stretching and all that is exactly that. Just get yourself a metronome and tap it out and And that's if the metronome speeds up because I just sped up <laughs> uh, But you get the idea anyway, so at that point when uh, he comes down that to that note He does he goes to a little uh, again a melodic kind of phrase And 
that's uh, reminiscent of the motif he was doing before, where... So that... So now he does... Uh, and that's just the uh, ninth fret of the D string to the eighth fret of the D string, back to nine, to 11, to 13. But the phrase is two notes on the uh, ninth fret and pull off to the eighth fret and then walk up the scale to the nine, 11, all on the, this is all on the D string. Uh, and then slide up to the 13, back to the 11th, back to the 13th. So that whole phrase. Now, that at that point, when he goes into that, after he does that uh, D minor pentatonic thing, uh, that whole phrase there is he, they it goes to the A minor chord at that point, and he just switches to what can look like basically an A minor scale. So it's very, the note choices are very simple, and uh, again, making things melodic, a lot of times you, you have to go that route. Um, now the next part of this lick is uh, a really cool technique. I've seen people from Paul Gilbert, uh, Racer X-y kind of guys using this, uh, Steve Vai using this. Um, it's an idea of, of basically playing a phrase and doing it in octaves. So uh, this phrase, it is uh, this is the part that's over the A major, A minor, uh, major seven chord, and it's basically, and it's just a three note phrase from the sixteenth fret, pull off to the twelfth fret, hammer on to the fourteenth fret. So it's. Uh, a whole step away on each note and that's the phrase and that's on the D string then he moves down a whole step and he does 14 10 to 12 um, all on the D string then he goes down to the E string and does the same phrase on 14 12 10 or 14 10 12 actually so and then he goes back up to the D string 14, 10, 12, and the east, high E string, 14, 10, 12. So that whole phrase is... And again, it's that whole 16th note, 8th note kind of stutter kind of thing. Um, so that's that uh, part of the phrase. And then, then uh, and again, that's all over that A major, A minor, major 7 chord. So the whole thing from that intervallic part goes... So after that section, he goes, uh, it goes to that F major 7 chord, and this is where he goes into, uh, he moves down to F uh, major pentatonic, basically, uh, or I'm sorry, F sharp major pentatonic. But you can think of it all in the scale, in the key of F sharp major. sharp minor uh, major pentatonic so this part he goes uh, after the he goes from the 10th fret to the 12th fret of the E string back down to the 9th fret of the um, of the all on the E string 
And then on the ninth fret to the eleventh fret on the B string. So it's and that resolves down to the chord, the root of the major seven chord. Then after that, he goes, which is 9, 11 on the B string to 9, 14, back to 12 on the E string. And he holds that for a beat. Then he goes down an arpeggio. He goes down from the, the uh, ninth fret on the ninth fret on the E string, ninth fret on the B string, and eleventh fret on the G string. So that's then after that he goes up to he goes from the ninth fret and the ninth fret on the B string and the uh, E string, and then the twelfth fret to slide into the 14th fret on the E string. So, And when he slides up into that, that's when he's sliding in the next chord, the, the e, um, e major 9, sharp 11. And when he slides in from the E note to the F sharp, that's the, the major 9. So... Um, which is always a cool note to resolve to if it's not a, if you're not going to like a chord tone, like a root third or a fifth, uh, it, it's always cool to throw that ninth in there. It's a fun note. Um, anyway, and then he starts just going down basically, uh, uh, like E, ma e major pentatonic and, um, e just E major scale.